Welcome to vlog number 20 of Pokemon Spectrum. Final session before Jonto. How are Yay! you? Yay! Yay! Ah! <laughs> there, was a, there was a lot to get done this session. We yeah, had a lot there to was. do. And there was even more that we could have done, but yeah, by yeah. night time. There were a lot of, yeah, there were actually a lot of loose ends I wanted to tie up, but I had to prioritize you guys' stuff first. Because I wanted, just to let you know, I wanted Madison to call Noir and actually give a response to the email that she sent her. I wanted Chase to have a scene back at Felicity's to see what was going on with Anthony. Yeah, you should just tell us everything that we would have otherwise seen. We could assume that was off-camera stuff, right? Largely. Uh, <laughs> that's all stuff that I can address in the epilogue, if necessary. All Fair right. enough. So <laughs> I, was, I wanted to give you guys a chance to decide what you wanted to do and then if we had time then we would have been able to add on the stuff the loose ends i wanted to tie up but instead but... of instead of pming do you want us to just tell you here so it's actually in a video the last scenes that we wanted sure okay uh, i'll start then because i'm already talking um so cassie's <laughs> like before going to johto she's basically just going to get in contact with nevi um you know explain that they're going to leave um you know the whole i'll be okay thing um, but then ask if she would take care of her mother while she was gone. Um, she also would have left an envelope and told her, you know, where it is and to pick it up and what to do with it. And basically it was like when her mom is better, uh, because Cassie doesn't know when she's coming back, uh, to give her the envelope. Um, and it had the Celebi leaf in it. And so, uh, so the directions are going to be to take her mom to where she remembers being the most happy and to have her focus uh, in that spot on memory. So mm -hmm. that's my... That's sweet. That's my goodbye. <laughs> that is very sweet. Thank you. Okay. Very nice. Anyone else want to add to that? Things that might happen off camera prior to going to Johto? Uh, there's there, there was this there was a scene that I wanted to have with Chase uh, before we left, but there's still some time for it, so I'm gonna save that for possibly next session. Like it could happen beyond the wall. It could happen beyond the wall, yeah. It could happen sure. in the dream world or something. But sure. as long as we're in Johto, I think Hark's fine. <laughs> as long as you're in Johto, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, we'll be in Johto. Uh, <laughs> okay. So now that we're here, Chase, I just feel like I can safely tell you something <laughs> now that I wasn't really able to tell you before. <laughs> For some reason. Uh, anyway. No, I think I think Molly has said her goodbye with Alicia at this point. Mm -hmm. That was the, the picture she drew. And the sex they had. It's like it's like it's like right before the end end game. You got to do it before the yeah, end game. Yeah, of course, right. right. <laughs> the end game. Yes, yes. Just like any Bioware game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did Molly? Uh, did Molly get a plus plus uh, two bonus in anything? Yeah, I'll say that <laughs> for the rest sure. of that week. <laughs> I'll say for the next session, you can get a plus. It, it, it for you, it'll be a plus one bonus Yay. to your rolls <laughs> for the next session. I'll say that Tiffany can have her plus two yeah. for the next session because she didn't have any rolls. So for the next session, you get plus two. Yes. So. Awesome. Thank you. Plus one. <clears throat> um, Anything else to go over in the off-camera section, or should we start talking about the actual yeah. session? Yeah. Real quick, <laughs> Tiffany would have written a letter, well, two letters. One to Jefferson explaining... This is what's been going on. This is why I've been making the armor. I didn't want to worry you. This is just in case I don't come back. Okay. And that will be given to Trenton, and he has instructions to pass it on. That was actually another role-playing moment no. that I wanted to try to squeeze in, which was you and Jefferson, because I actually wanted Jefferson to ask you about Noir. I know, and I'm uh, sorry. Because <laughs> I know Jefferson was curious about why you thought Noir would be someone that he would be interested in, or she would be interested in him. Because I don't think he sees why you would make that connection necessarily. Uh, but. Okay. It's more, you're both good people. You've both been through a lot of hardships. She thought they could maybe make each other happy. 
<laughs> Perhaps. He will probably say that he hasn't interacted with Noir much at all. So I know, that's the shame. <laughs> yes. What does Chase's armor look like? Tiffany would make it to his exact specifications. I recall red, orange, yellow highlights, yellow. LEDs. Yes. yes. That's what Am I, I wrong, Shay? Isn't that Chase? I expect you to find art for this. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, also, people, figure out what your Pokemon's armor looks like for next session. I expect yeah. details. Uh, also, off camera, well, we've got Fabian's temporary arrangements, and she would like explain everything to him. I don't know what was happening, and that she will be coming back. She's come back every other time. You don't want to leave him with Felicity? Um, yeah, she'll be leaving him with Felicity. Okay. Um, Perfect. And, yeah, she'll be telling him she will come back. He will always come back to him. No matter what. Okay. I mean, now you just made Chase curious about Anthony at this point. I thought that was a loose end. <laughs> now I'm like, God damn it. Of course I'd want to know, like, <laughs> what happened with did. Felicity and, and Anthony. That, yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't have enough time. Sacrifices must for that. be made. Sacrifices. You really wanted to have your, your other moments. Yeah, and those were good everything. moments. You had <laughs> good moments. Those were good moments. I, I, I didn't even speaking. attend for them, but they're done now. <laughs> also, okay. it's too late. <laughs> too late. Also, yes. also, stuff off camera. Explain to Keith, we can't take you with us, but if you have a scent item, we will look for your loved ones. Our pictures. Anything that would help? Yeah, that, I, that's the thing. I don't think since he moved to Saffron, I don't think he has anything scent -wise. physically that they have okay. scent wise because that would be at their house, which is okay. in Johto, then? unfortunately. Yeah, he'll show. He'll give you pictures. Okay. He'll give you a picture. And would Would you rather have that Ben Molly or Tiffany or both that explain this Roma? I don't know. I, Molly was the one who offered it. Who? offered it to him at first, but Tiffany has known him more, so... Mm -hmm. I can see both, both going. Yeah, both of them could okay. go. Okay. So this session now? So now okay. we can talk about this session. Yeah, okay, cool. What actually happened during the session? Yes. A lot of stuff and things. The end. Yeah. No. <laughs> not, not your cat, too. <laughs> <laughs> Time to hook the kitties up. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> no, don't take that. No, I thought the session had a lot of really good scenes. So many. It's hard for me to remember what came first. <laughs> you know, it's hard for Chase, too. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, what did I, what, now I legitimately forgot what I was going to say. The uh, sacrifice comment. Yeah, I think that was one of the first yeah. scenes that the Sacrifices have to be made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting it's interesting topic about yeah. about religion and the gods and rules for one god and rules versus versus rules of another god and you know mm -hmm. what is balance and stuff like that. I mean for real though, Xerneas and Eveltal are useless. Like stop guys. What do you do <laughs> but cause trouble? <laughs> be interesting to see how that plays out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was yeah. it was nice engaging all that discussion. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, then further further about the God topic, I I really did enjoy Chase and Cassie's scene at her office. The theological. <laughs> it wasn't what I discussion. <laughs> it got really deep. Yeah, it wasn't what I had expected from that scene. But it, yeah, I, I thought it a... <laughs> did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it, it definitely went into terrain that I wasn't anticipating though, because you kept on going with it. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to throw her off at this point. But I can't. <laughs> yeah, she seems to be really into what you're well, saying. Well, it's the thing. I mean, you know, she's she studied her philosophy and stuff like that. And maybe at the beginning of this campaign, she would have been a little bit more like, come on. But you know, but after everything they've been through, it's like, I see your point. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting discussion to have. And yeah, I don't think she would have that discussion with anyone else. And so No. No, that's why it had to be with Cassie. Yeah, that was, yeah I, was, I was glad for it. So I mean I hope I it didn't was... disappoint you in not going all science y shut down, but <laughs> No, it was supposed to be a simple question about like for as me as a player, I was trying to touch the point that Hark eventually mentioned where like the fan community, as far as I'm aware, they theorized how in the hell that the Pokeballs Yeah, were, there's right? like no set. <laughs> 
So in my head, I was like, well, I'm going to play off the idea that Chase sees these cr creatures turn into energy and go into this place, but humans don't. And for him, that was creating a pattern that didn't make sense, you know, like a logical mm -hmm. pattern that Pokemon weren't real. And uh, they can't be real. I mean, if they turn into energy and they go into this extra dimensional space, then they can't possibly be real because humans can't do that. And humans are, are real, right? So it becomes a big question about, or philosophy about, you know, what is real and, and mm -hmm. by extension, like, are we even real? Like at the end of the day, it's, you know, from his perspective is like, we could just be figments of some other God dream. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so what do you think he gathered from that whole conversation? <laughs> that she aligns with him. So he didn't expect to see uh, someone on the same page with the scientific side of things. Like he doesn't understand the science part of anything. He's going on pure occult, if anything. Mm. But the fact that she was able to like respond with more or less like rational, logical possible talk of possibilities from a science perspective, he's like, okay, well, it's, you know, there's place, there's a place for science and there's a place for theology and, yeah, uh, you know the point where they intersect is the part that he's really trying to hone in on now. That's the truth he's trying to find. Is you know, yeah, and, and very it. often you know you can find you can find those intersections. You can find where one will like make sense of or justify the other. Um, it's just really hard to find proof of that matter. That's the issue, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you could theorize about things all day, but it's, and, it's and, yeah it's that hard it's that hard logic that you know logically it might work but almost in a paradoxical sense sometimes right where it's yeah. what came first it'll always end with what came first yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's a uh, background info on that scene is like i intended to do m like most of that scene as as a um, solo scene with chase and it was supposed to be a lot more like more blow like him losing control of like the identity part of things so for the sake of time, I was like, I got to merge scenes here. I got to figure, I got to break some of our property. Cause I mean, I, I need, I want to get out the idea of the, 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 you know, the multiple planes and, and the idea that something binds all of that together. It's, you know, we have to stop thinking about just this, you know what I mean? We got to broaden our break windows, <laughs> got to break some windows, man. <laughs> or prison labs. They're not going to let Cassie have visitors ever again. <laughs> Chase is never drags a grimer slash mug through. He had one shot. A window. <laughs> one opportunity. No, one opportunity. To seize so, everything he ever wanted. Seize everything. One moment. <laughs> one moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> so don't blow it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, speaking, okay, so. well, speaking of prison labs. <laughs> yes, speaking of. Yes. yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've actually I've actually been wanting to get you over to Prism Labs for quite some time. <laughs> I just you wasn't too. sure how to do, wasn't sure how to do it in character. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I'm was, glad we got I it. I was glad for that one instead of the EvDev, honestly, because once the TMs were presented, it was like, oh well, that seems better because then Aspen would have to be involved, mm -hmm. or not have to, but I figured chances were. Yeah. Aww. One, one of the things one of the things I I wanted to. Uh, to try to expand a little bit on on Ooze, uh memories of being in the lab is that the reason why he he likes climbing on the wall and on the ceiling and painting it painting it purple is because he actually really hates white rooms and white ceilings even though he doesn't <laughs> like that it's makes because, sense because of the lab. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so so if there was ever if he had ever gone to the dream world before this he would have ex he would have just said i i just don't like white rooms <laughs> oh this is the wallpaper <laughs> yeah <laughs> that makes sense mm -hmm. got to read no, with papa aspen mm -hmm. yes papa aspen. and you remembers his name <gasps> mm -hmm. <laughs> so is you gonna start remembering names now i haven't decided yet We'll see you next okay. session. That's true. You know, Bola could probably help. Out of speech impediment. So wait, if he, if you did give Doctor Aspen a nickname, what would it be? Tree. Glasses friend. Tree friend. <laughs> <laughs> what would have been? What would have been? Tree friend, I think. Tree friend. <laughs> because oh. tree, because you can remember the names of trees, just like people. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but I was I was really happy with how that turned out, and mm -hmm. yeah. I'm glad we got to do that. Mm -hmm. Other things. Other things. 
Uh, the Tiffany chase scene was well played. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is always a challenge to play opposite of Shay, especially being in Tiffany's awesome. mindset of, I want to talk about this. Where, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to talk about my subject. <laughs> That well, more like, often than physically, he hot. just wanders like, with his words. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're talking about this now. That was a lot was deeper gonna... than I intended. Yeah, I, had a I was going to say a different conversation when we came in here, but I got parts of it. I was going to say it's it's challenging for you to to play opposite of Shay. It's challenging for me to play opposite of Shay. Yeah, that but hard to have how many Shea more was... plus years than me. I have. Two. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have how many more years RPing? I have like two. <laughs> I think you do well, great. Yeah. I have not no problem with your no, I thought, me. Yeah. 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 No, because I think my I really things got very intense on my end. Like I was sweating a little bit when when um Chase was giving Anthony like the, the third degree while he was giving himself fourth degree <laughs> Yes, while he was giving himself fourth degree burns. Um but um uh yeah, I was I was sweating a little bit. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta stick to my guns here. Yeah. So <laughs> what's this maniac gonna do? I, I think, uh, I know. I think the secret to that is to is to not fight it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you see Chase going, go with him. <laughs> yeah, I just go with it. <laughs> Don't let him go on his own, he'll get lost. <laughs> yes. I do yeah, actually I get lost when I go with him and I, I as a player I will get lost with Chase. Like I start with an idea and then by the time I'm halfway through I'm like, oh my fuck. Like I am in trouble right now. Like if if the other person doesn't play off me, I have no idea where I'm going. So my whole yeah. character will shift after an episode because I'm like, Well, I did that. Okay, well I guess I'm doing <laughs> yeah. fire. Yeah. Okay, I'll just this now. <laughs> Cause for the record, I didn't yeah. have that stuff on my character sheet yet. The fire yeah. like during that Anthony scene, but it just it worked. Yes. So I have to ask then, what did Chase uh, get out of the scene where he asks Cynthia to carve a heart into his hand? Yeah, I'm also what, what, curious what he, about this. What did he... Uh, what was his intention? What was his second reason? What is his intention and what, it was, what did he end up ultimately getting from that? He, he wanted Cassie and Tiffany. He wanted Tiffany in particular because he knows that she cares too much on the surface to the point where it blinds her from what's actually going on. And I think that's where it confuses him as a character uh, because he looks under that surface and doesn't see the surface Tiffany was trying to get the point across uh, about um, because he's always playing like a second story. And so with, uh, with Cynthia, he wanted people to witness the fact that if he and if he genuinely felt like it'd be a good idea and enjoyed something Cynthia would agree and his whole point is that she is not in control she will agree to anything that will pleasure someone else that came out a little bit off but, the <laughs> idea, but Crazy. The idea, and that's why he he would not have allowed Tiffany to leave the room because that was her again rejecting uh that there's always a sub there's always mm -hmm. sub, like you there's always something beyond and and he was trying to make a point that stop looking at the surface. The surface is just skin. I'm trying to get a message across here. And that's the part that he and her this is what I love about them being on opposite ends is that I, I can't as a player get to the middle ground without a Tiffany. So if Tiffany starts to, you know, come closer to the middle too fast, then I lose I lose my I lose that juxtaposition and the heart on the hand like he didn't end up doing it. Right. But because his point wasn't to get <laughs> yeah. the heart carved on his hand, the point was to say. Lux also would have stopped you from that. <laughs> well, no one can stop Chase if he puts his if he if he just <laughs> doesn't mind to it. Oh, I'm because sure. Because do it behind your scene and I say, hey, "Look what Cynthia did," because I thought it, it it'd be awesome, right? And she's all ecstatic about the fact that she could have carved my hand with with a butcher knife, you know. So his point she would have. Yeah. And the point was, she's not in control. Like the people have to start yeah. to acknowledge the fact that she is not in control. She's just gonna she, agree. <laughs> With yeah, everything Cassie, that... she was a... Go ahead. I was just going to say that, yeah, at the beginning of that, Cassie was internally freaking out quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, because at first he's just moving toward her mom with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> um, we'll then cover even, this. <laughs> even, even once it turned around to be like, hey, carve this into my flesh, you know, she wasn't down with that because she doesn't want her mom to have to do something like that. But then, yeah, once she... He, Shay was, or well, I guess Shay Chase, both of them, quite particular <laughs> with their language. Um, and so at that point, she caught on. And while still nervous about it, it was like, 
you know, I, I get at least what he's going for. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, thought like, that I was think, well I done. think Molly got there first with Chase, but he's mm -hmm. slowly trying to get everyone. He doesn't he doesn't expect people to understand why he does what he does. He's just looking for us as a team to stop questioning why each of us do what we have to do. It's like yeah, that's the let problem. Cassie lie. Gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Sure, but uh yeah no so say at the end of the day you got to build trust because like you know it's got to be implicit if you're going to work as a, mm -hmm. a, a one body right one one unit got to be implicit so yeah i am curious um what led cassie to decide to keep the other characters in the dark with the plates what led her to decide that i'm just curious. oh um well the the plates aren't actually in the safe she lied to Kyle. Um, oh. So, <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> keeping them in the dark about her hiding the plates just means that they didn't hear about the lie to Kyle. So nothing has changed from their perspective. So she, so the she has the plates actually. on her person. So she gave Kyle the... She is the, so getting mugged. <laughs> so she gave Kyle the uh, ball just because. Um, the ball that she put into the safe... Um, has a tracking device on it. Um, and so if by chance it happens to get stolen, um, her hope is that it'll lead them right. back to the Omni base. Right. So. And the one that, but I'm saying the magic Pokeball that Kyle has, mm -hmm. she just wanted to give that to him as a show of good faith, even though you lied to him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, she lied to him, but at the same time throughout that conversation, she was also very honest about some things. And so, yeah, a lot of it was to kind of, I'm you know. Curious. I'm curious if Kyle would have been able to see through that lie. Well, I asked you in PMs what I should tell you, and you said nothing. So <laughs> I didn't tell yes. you anything. <laughs> I might roll a little bit after <laughs> after this. I roll something after this. Um, anything else? I liked uh, I liked Molly's scene with Kyle. That's actually been it's it's a conversation I've been wanting to have with Kyle for some time. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't know. Well, he 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 was in the same orphanage as you guys apparently. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, now, granted, his foster parents situation is totally different from Molly's and I think a little bit more positive of an experience. So, but that doesn't mean that they don't have common ground there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, one thing, one thing I did want to address that, uh, I don't know if it's been addressed that much during the campaign is Molly's actual, actual fear of police officers. And I think we got on into that a little bit at the beginning of the campaign, mm -hmm. but you know, throughout the campaign, she's only referred, she's mostly referred to Kyle as just Lieutenant. And him. Which is a respectful thing to call yeah. him. Yeah, which is a respectful <laughs> thing to call him. But she she did it just because it was hard for her to see him as anything else, even when he was in right. plain clothes, you know? <laughs> or even when he was in a towel? Even in a towel, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Hopefully, hopefully after that she can bury the hatchet a little bit and uh, okay. just try to see him as as her friend. Okay. Yep. I think there are a lot of good scenes that have probably gone on for like fifteen sessions. Like they have been talked about in Discord, they have been hinted at um, loose ends that are just like in vlogs that we've talked about that eventually we'll get to. Um, and I think a, like a lot happened this session just from that perspective, like it was a lot already happened, but from the perspective of how many things actually got resolved, the ooh thing and the Molly scene, like those, those have been hanging since session three or four, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. And there's, a, there's, like you said, there's tons more that we could mm -hmm. have done before going to Johto. And I wish that we had the time to do all of them. Um, but, uh, you guys just really love to roll. Yes, we do. Do you blame <laughs> us? I don't blame you. you like to be it. fair, I really do feel like a lot of us, and I'm, I don't want to sp speak out of turn for anyone else, but I think a lot of us are getting to the point where a lot of that is closure at this point, like for our character development. Like, like 
there's there's a few things that can still happen sure and we can invent more but i think in terms of character development i feel like a lot of these characters are already reaching a point where there's you know there's a good understanding of where they fit like with the team in terms of the story in terms of themselves so I think even if we were to say an hour next session for like tying up loose ends, as long as everyone li- li- don't invent new things, then I think <laughs> it's probably at a point now where I don't, I don't see how it could derail, but I also understand we derail a lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, yeah, in, in Jodo, give us a relatively, challenge. <laughs> relatively streamlined, like our NPCs will obviously be super limited. We're always pretty much going to be together or within a close distance unless yeah. Hark specifically separates us. So, yeah, it doesn't. Jota will. Hmm? I was just gonna say it doesn't seem like there's too much that could throw us like at least too far off course. No, we do get a new NPC in Caroline. I'm assuming. Uh, and until our beach episode, then. Well, obviously. Our beach episode. <laughs> Very disappointed that didn't happen in Thetis. <laughs> we went Andrea to. Andrea had bikinis. <laughs> Casement of looks really smashed. It was Come called on. the beach. It was really. <laughs> yeah, Jota will be a little bit different from. Your other sessions because i think you will have less freedom because you, you pretty much are don't have houses to go to well, yeah. <laughs> so you, you pretty much have to stay as a group and i think it'll be i might my guess it'll be a little bit more fast-paced this happens and this happens this happens and this, and this happens because it's because you're pretty much on the tra- trajectory of end game beating the game going to the end game yeah so but i need to go one drop and um, pick elf fruit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to talk a little bit more about. Sorry, go ahead. I was I was going to mention. I don't know if this is going to be a thing, but uh, but Cassie, if you did do any research on the lyrium, um, <clears throat> you do believe that you could um, find a way to um, find a way to grow new lyrium, like new raw lyrium, using that potion if you wished to. In a believe you'd be able to manner, crystal. because last I knew. Yes. Because you believe that um, Valerium could definitely have interesting effects with evolution, as evolutionary stones. But I don't believe, as Cassie, that I would need a dwarven chest to be maintained by dwarves. You don't believe you need a dwarven chest, you just need to have something that Science, can man, keep... Science, figure it out. <laughs> yeah, Cass, Cass, you got this. Well, the dwarf told me I didn't, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who listens to Anything him? that that would normally keep radiation contained. Okay, that that was her point in Thetis, but I guess maybe they don't have that. They, they don't know about radiation. They don't. <laughs> yes. So I believe you can keep it contained. Cool. Um, and then once the uh, if you were to use a piece of lyrium as an evolutionary stone, then it would be it would disappear. I mean, it would be used mm-hmm. up during the evolution. You wouldn't have to worry about containing it at that. That's point. true. But if you wish to experiment with that at any point, you're welcome to experiment. That's not in Tiffany's apartment. <laughs> no, I don't know. He's smiling. I don't. I, don't like I mean, Remy hasn't evolved yet, so uh, <laughs> you know. Hey, who knows? Special, hey, special candy. Hey, Lux, want to try something for me? <laughs> <laughs> Lux might get an evolution. <gasps> Whoa! Go steal this now. Whoa! <laughs> Lux might you? get an evolution. <laughs> I mean, if Lyrium is going to break anything in the Pokemon universe, it's going to it's going to break the Pokemon that have no evolutions. All of a sudden, we're going to see Mill Tank evolved into a floating cow head. <laughs> I'm oh, no. <laughs> that like was whatever. oddly specific. <laughs> that is my brain. I was I was thinking I was thinking DNA that did like. Uh, DNA digivolving, where two Pokemon oh. merged to, oh, to, to form one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to merge a form one new Pokemon. But anyway, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. Fairly certain you can do it. <laughs> Anything else? Um, uh, Inky got some closure. Yes. <laughs> yes, I thought okay. that was super sweet. It's so cute. Bullet is so innocent. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit innocent. <laughs> yes. But I think it's very cute, especially <clears throat> you know, and, and and Inky got to got to um, share something about its past yeah. that dark past that um, again, so many of us who are playing the Pokemon games kind of take for granted yeah. how messed up how messed up we treat our Pokemon sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
A little uncomfortable. It's okay. but no, that fucking it's... relationship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> I be I do at least they do sort of um, have a I think a system where the na certain natures are more compatible than others. I think there's a thing like that. Not with, really. They have to. Or be, is that not really a thing? They have to be in. They have to be in the same egg group. Yeah. Right. And that's it. But what do you? Natures doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. Just the same egg group. Oh. Yeah. Gender. Weird. I mean, now that he said that, I thought there was something, but maybe it's just different species have their different times. I don't know. I, I think in uh, Pokemon society, there might be a stigma of two Pokemon who happen to like each other that are not in the same egg group. I think there's a stigma of people thinking, oh, that's a little kinky. I don't think uh, <laughs> that's a good idea. You know? <laughs> that Pikachu um, is really cause, cute. Cause, you don't understand. Yeah. Because <laughs> basically, the whatever the equivalent of that would be with the... You know, Arceus made Adam and Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Mm. Kind of arguments going on there. Like you're, you're on the same egg group. You can't possibly. You shouldn't like each other in that way. So, you know. Oh, Lenerva, you didn't tell me. But it, <laughs> I like that there's that stigma, but that all the human relationships are a okay. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly fine. Didn't have to tread that at all. Like that was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, hold on. I mean, a better example would have been like, like a human and not even an ape, but a human and a horse to make a centaur. I'm sure there's like a it's taboo <laughs> for us to try to make centaur. I think is what Hark is really trying to say. Or, to or even a human and or even a human and a Pokemon that looks human. I will say no more. You know, okay. <laughs> I will say no more beyond that. It would. Happen. I don't. I don't think. I don't think the campaign's gonna touch on that. No, but we know it's happening. It's, but we know yeah. it's happening in the world. Oh, geez. Season two. Uh, Poor Gardevoir. <laughs> season two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I did. I did want to ask Ella. Uh, how how did uh, how did you uh, what did you think about the conversation between Molly and Noir in the cafe? Yeah, it was good, and I think it's gonna foreshadow a few things just with like. Noir's development. Yeah, it's... Yeah, oh, was... sorry. It's fine. Because <laughs> that, that conversation was making me a little nervous. Because <laughs> I was thinking, okay, how, how do I put this? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing that Session 17 just came out. Because I was like, okay, well, drawing on what, what, uh, what Molly said in that case, yeah, I think that's an appropriate thing to say to Noir. <laughs> okay. Just, like at this point, I think Noir realizes that she needs to stay alive. It's just like, although it is, if sacrificing Cam does come to a point, it's another personal sacrifice. It's mm -hmm. another her putting everyone above her own feelings. Mm -hmm. and it's like, mm -hmm. hmm, yeah. Where, where it held, that will go. Yeah. I'll just say Hopefully it's... you won't go too badly. What happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can just have you can just offer up the Hux or something. <laughs> we don't need we don't need Just take him. Just take him. Really just take him. Come he doesn't on. serve any other purpose. <laughs> so He annoys me. <laughs> take him. <laughs> oh. Human sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Did everyone like the gift you got from Tiffany, except for Cassie, who just got the standard upgrade? Well, she hasn't even gotten it yet. <laughs> As she would have worked out as soon as she went home. Oh, okay. So she'll get okay. Then, yes. I'll have to ask you later what exactly it was again, but. Thank you. Like, as far as the bonuses, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, gifts were awesome. Yeah, I liked them. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, also, Molly's gifts were nice. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Smoke, I can run away now. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the non -com well, she's not combatant. The squishiest of the team can run away. <laughs> hey, you don't have to be combatant. Yeah. I have to run away sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I am the healer. I just need to get over there and apply a potion. <laughs> Field medics. Yeah, yes, just a reminder. True. Yeah, just a reminder, let me know on Discord uh, if your characters want Molly to craft anything for them. 
Cool. And in my case, and the quantity. it would have happened before the phone call. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Before the phone call. You get nothing. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that phone call. Okay. Yeah, the phone call was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I was hoping that would happen, honestly, because I, I was like, okay, if it's going to be revealed, it's going to be revealed here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. It was good. We'll see what the after, what the consequences in the aftermath of that will be. I will say, yeah. I will say, Molly, Molly does not hate Cassie. Yeah, Cassie I mean, Cassie isn't sure, but I, as a player, think it's more now. Molly feels incredibly guilty. <laughs> <clears throat> it's Molly's. Been... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, like Molly's probably going to Noir and says. I don't know if we necessarily need to sacrifice a can <laughs> anymore. I think I have another option of a sacrifice. Far worse than Hux. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was it was a combination of guilt, like seeing seeing that they left her her room exactly the way it was mm -hmm. and uh, basically they were waiting. And then also like finding out that what basically what cassie said was was true they they really never stopped looking for her and uh yeah. and then hearing it hearing it from cassie exactly uh how she found exactly how she uh Ooh. met dylan quote unquote met dylan yeah <laughs> i more saw him as they were driving <laughs> away yeah so i'm in a dream once it was nothing <laughs> <laughs> So cool. That'll that'll be interesting to play out. I'm glad you like how it went then. Like I am glad. I am I did like how it went. <laughs> and also shipping. Yay! Oh, shipping. Yay. <laughs> Tiffany Everywhere. has a pretty pendant now. Mm-hmm. Yes. 